I mean my first multiplayer game in 36 hours. And not only that, this was also my very first 3D game. We'll be going from a capsule falling into the void to slaughtering my friends in a cool 3D environment. Sounds appealing, right? Uh, oh, it's, it's not? I I'm weird? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Anyways, time's a wasting. Let's get started. The time starts now. Now, the very base mechanic in any 3D shooter game is obviously moving because walking around is pretty cool. And then shooting because it's literally in the name, 3D shooter. Duh, I'm so smart. Yeah, that's right, Dylan from second grade. I'm smart, not dumb like you told me. <laughs> I'm smart, okay? But then it hit me. A simple fact that would change the tide of my life. It would shape me in ways that no other fact could shape me that I had absolutely no idea how to make a 3D movement system. <laughs> now this would be a huge problem if we weren't in the internet age. Do I even need to explain what I did? No. Now we have a cool character that can move and jump, and we even have a beautiful, beautiful piece of floor. Now, before going any further, I was feeling really good with my progress so far, and so I decided to call some of my friends to see what they had to say, because I really value their opinion, and they're very nice people. And I know that all of them are going to encourage me and give me a lot of amazing feedback, and are just going to be very nice people overall. I think you guys are going to... Yo, 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 what do you think of my game so far? I sent you a few screenshots. Don't you think it looks awesome? Like, seriously, look at those graphics. Yeah, um, dude, it was shit. It was garbage. Wait, what? Honestly, like, I'm, like, no offense, okay? It was, it was you just... You what are you talking about right now? No, listen. Yeah, it was... No, 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 no. It was no, 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 it was yo, so no, 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 your opinion sorry, is wrong, just... your opinion and it was is wrong, <laughs> your, your, listen, your opinion is wrong. Next thing that I needed to do was the shooting system. I got a gun asset from the asset store. Now we can destroy some walls because <laughs> literally walls are useless and they suck. Now, there are two ways to do the shooting system. I could either use ray casts or I could use actual instantiated 3D bullets. I decided to test out both ways since I didn't want to miss out on anything that each of these options could offer me. Turns out that for me at least, it was easier to make things look good with actual spawnable 3D bullets, so I decided to go with this route. I'm showing both ways on screen right now, let me know whether you think my decision was correct or not. Now, to be completely honest with you, Maybe what my friend said is true. Maybe my game does look like trash. So, it's time for a glow up. First step is obviously making the floor look like actual floor. As of right now, our floor is looking really bland. Unlike me. What did he say? So I used the Unity Terrain Editor to make some nice floor. And I also grabbed some textures off the asset store for things like the sand in the floor. I also added some beautiful wavering grass and flowers, and now things are starting to look way, and I mean way better. I then also added a skybox, because a blue sky with clouds is better than… Uh, whatever this thing was. Now of course right now we are sort of lacking in the weapons department, and so I added a few to really just spice up the game a little bit. Just to show off a few, we have a grenade launcher, um, explosive thingy, yeah very descriptive. We have a rifle, we have a burst rifle, we have an RPG launcher, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. So much variety. I actually did do a pretty good job at balancing the game weapons though, so that's cool. And there you have it. We have finished the game. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoy- What do you mean you're done? You haven't even started on the multiplayer. <sighs> Bye.
We are literally 14 hours in and I haven't started the multiplayer. Now, this would be a huge problem if it weren't for my masterful skills in multiplayer games. You know, I have the capability to remake the whole Overwatch and CSGO franchise in one day, single-handedly. Maybe throw in Valorant and some other AAA multiplayer games into the mix because I'm just that good. Yeah, <laughs> no. I have no idea what I'm doing. You know, sometimes you just question what you're doing with your life, and these are one of those times. Now, all would have failed if I hadn't found an amazing tutorial series on the Mirror Multiplayer Framework by Daper Dino that literally saved this whole project, so thank you. So I started working on the main menu. People can now enter a username, can pick to host or join a server, and can ready up and whatever. Now all of this is cool, but let's all acknowledge the coolest thing that I made. The fade animation that I spent two minutes of my life making. This is the best part of the whole game, honestly. Like, <laughs> it seriously adds so much depth and dynamic and game feel. Game developers watching this, you better be taking some serious notes here. A lot of implementations that you could be doing in your game. You could have zero sales for your game and it will suddenly jump to 10k with this feature. Super mar- I went on for another minute, so <laughs> I'm just gonna cut that with some editing magic. Then I implemented spawning the players in, and now you shall see two players. Wait, what? After fixing some technical difficulties, not game breaking bugs, technical difficulties, we now have two players spawning in. But then I realized that player and camera movement weren't working as intended. Now I shall mention that I did a little bit of research before starting this challenge about Mir, and something I noticed was the fact that the base class for Mirror scripts is network behavior instead of mono behavior. I genuinely thought that all scripts written for non-multiplayer games would work just as long as I replace mono with network. Oh. Oh boy, was I wrong. In conclusion to my long, boring essay, I had to rewrite a lot of the game's code. Very, very cool. <laughs> Why is my life? And so now you're back in business, baby! No, we're not. At this point, I had recorded 10 clips to use in the video, only to realize that they were running at literally 1 FPS because, first of all, my computer is a potato. Second of all, the game isn't very optimized, and those things do not mix at all. It's like putting a toaster in your bath. It, it just, it's not a good idea, you know? So it was time to optimize my game, or else I wouldn't be able to record anything for the game to put in my video, which would be a rather big problem if I do say so myself. So I optimized my game, and we went from 30 FPS to around 90 FPS, which is way better. Now, upon building the game, it made me think of something. Once you killed your opponents, what would happen? Do I want them to respawn, or do I want some sort of round system? I decided to just go with a round system them, since my maps are quite open and respawning would lead to constant deaths. And if I added invulnerability on respawn, it would mean free kill- Okay, okay, we get it. Quit rumbling. Oh, okay, okay, chill. My god. I also fixed a bug, which I had been holding off on, which was the fact that the ammo counter wasn't really working anymore, and so I updated it to work with Mirror. I then added some new capabilities in the back end of the game, and so it was now time. Yo, what up, bro? Like, I just came from that epic ep menu screen. Like, dude, that looked awesome. That actually looked so fresh. Like, wow, Alex did such a good job with that menu screen, not gonna lie. And also, these graphics are looking really fresh and really nice. Oh, oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, there's, there's just some cool jumps here you're doing. Yeah, Brian, all right, bro. You, you seen my jumps? Like, damn, I'm, I'm already a pro. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Anyways, um, you know... Yo mama, yo mama so dumb, she had to, no, no, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it Dave, don't say it, or else I'll, I'll do something. <laughs> I know you won't, I know you won't, okay? Well, I just shot that wall, what are you gonna do? What if I change my direction a few inches to the left, what are you gonna do then? <laughs> no, you don't have the guts to do that. Yo mama is so stupid, she had to go to the library. <laughs> And that concludes the 36 hours of work. 
To conclude and sum up this amazing experience neatly, I must say, it was really challenging and cool to go out there and do something new that I had no idea how to do previously. A lot of the 36. hours was me just thinking about a specific thing and why it wasn't working, or thinking about how I would do something. I wrote a whole list of things that I wanted to accomplish in these 36. hours, and I was only able to do 80% of them simply because of time constraints. Learning something completely new and having to finish a game, no matter how unpolished, within a time frame is honestly such an excruciatingly painful format, all the while being an amazing learning experience. Sure, if I added another 10 hours, maybe I could have polished up the game a little bit with some screen shake, another map, etc, etc, but let's be honest. Ain't nobody got time for that. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video and come chat on my Discord server. Also, leave a comment I answer to, let's say 95% of them. Sorry for not posting in literally four months. Life just sort of happened and screwed me over, but I'm back on track and ready to pump out some really awesome content. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Mm. Stay safe out there, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.